Hi guys, Nate Dodder here. Welcome back to unboxings on the channel. It's been a very, very long while since I've done an unboxing on the channel. Um, but we're here. We have a pop and candy unboxing to do. Um, yeah, it's been a while. Like I said, I, I thought once I started uploading videos again to YouTube that I would grab myself a box and pop and candy has always been my go-to box. Um, yeah, so let's open it up. Let's have a look what we get inside, what pop we get, what candy we get. Let's have a look. So with all pop and candy boxes, we get the pop and candy postcard. It's got the pop and candy logo on the front with the pop figures and also on the back it's got some text that basically says that um, it's, it's the UK's favorite pop mystery box. And if you share your boxes online, um, the dog's about to kick the camera over. He's sitting underneath me with his legs wrapped right around the tripod um, feet. So it falls over, you know, to blame. Uh, but yeah, ch share your boxes online, um, on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, and you never know, you may win some cool stuff in a future box that you order. Um, but yeah, let's have a look at the candy itself. There's always a little small product in the box. This one, this month, is the Now and Later Chewy Apple. Um, it's got a price of 25 cents. So if you think about the price of one of these boxes, you're getting a good pop figure, generally a really good pop figure, um, and then you're getting a load of candy. And to get one small piece of candy that's worth 25 cents, it actually makes the boxes quite good value. Um, 19.99 for this box. Um, free UK shipping, it's always good. But yeah, um, Now and Later. Chewy Candy Nommy Nom Noms. Next up is a tub of caramel flavoured marshmallow fluff. We've had marshmallow fluff before in these boxes. It's normally just the plain old vanilla, normal flavoured marshmallow fluff. This one is caramel flavour. It's gluten free as well, so if you are gluten intolerant, um, you could just nom on this every day, just have this as your diet. Gluten free, <laughs> caramel flavoured marshmallow fluff. Perfect. Next up, it's a packet of Kool-Aid. If you don't know what Kool-Aid is, if you're not American, I don't think it's really featured anywhere else really around the world. It's basically, it's a, it's a, it's a drink, if you can hear that. It's a little sachet of drink, um, a little powder. And you literally mix it into drink, put, pour water in it, stir it, and you've got an unsweetened fruit drink. This one is pink lemonade. Um, it makes two quarts. I don't know what two quarts is, a quart of a liter? No, that can't, it must be more than that. I don't know. It makes some. If you're American, you know what a quart is. Do tell. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's not something I've ever tried. I've never. It's never. I've never got it working before. Dr. Creeper and I, Jamie, may try to make this um, years ago when when we first started getting these boxes, and it didn't work. It really didn't work very well at all. So I may give it another go. Um, there's eight servings, eight cups full of drink, cupfuls of drinks in here. So um, yeah, not bad. Kool Aid, pink lemonade. Next up, we have a bar of coconut. That's what it says, rainbow coconut bar. It's pure coconut for pure enjoyment, apparently. So it's coconut mushed together into a bar. It's got coloring to make it look pretty, just like red and pink colorers. Colorers, I can't speak. Um, but yeah, it's just coconut. Lots of coconut, lots of sugar. Tasty. Next, we have a bar from Mrs. Freshly. We always feature Mrs. Freshly in these boxes. We tend to anyway. This one is an Oreo brownie. If you like Oreos, you like brownies, this is gonna be right up your alleyway. Um, yeah, very nice. Oreo cookie pieces inside. This will be good. I'm looking forward to trying this. Next, we have a Baby Ruth. We've had these before. This is Nestle Baby Ruth. It says it's bursting with peanuts, caramel, and chewy nougat. Um, yeah, we've had these before. These are always really nice. So um, yeah, if you haven't tried one of these, Definitely worth picking one up. Um, you can get these, you can get individual bars like this in supermarkets now, but I think buying, the dog's trying to get up on the sofa now with all the sweets. Um, yeah, it's worth buying these, but I think in a box like Pop and Candy, you're getting a massive array of stuff with a pop figure. It's really good value. So, although you can get them elsewhere, it's probably worth picking up one of these boxes just to give it a go. And it's a kind of random element, so um, it's always exciting to uh, find out what you get in a box. Well, if you're a YouTuber, this will probably come in very, very useful for grinding those videos. Um, it is Jolt Cola, so it's a can of cola. It's, um, how big is it? It's a big one. It's, it's 16, 473 milliliters, so half a liter nearly of cola. But it says on the front there, rather ominously, all the sugar and twice the caffeine. All the sugar and twice the caffeine. That will blow your socks off. Your proverbial socks will be blown well off with this. Jolt Cola, all the caffeine, all the sugar, twice the caffeine. Wow. Our penultimate candy item are the Hostess Cupcakes. These are um, frosted yellow cake with creamy filling, the golden cupcakes, two of them in there. So they're, they're normal sort of vanilla-y um, cupcakes, traditional cupcakes with chocolate coating, chocolate icing. Um, and I've had these before. These are really nice cupcakes. And they're sort of in a packet and you'd expect cakes to have to be fresh. 
Um, obviously they're sealed in a way that keeps them nice and fresh when they're, when they're in transport. Um, but yeah, lovely cupcakes from Hostess. And the final candy item I save what I think is the best till last. You know me, if you've watched my channel, you'll know that I am a big Jelly Belly fan. These are the new, I think, Mixed Emotions Jelly Beans. On each one there's gonna have a little, a little face, um, a little emoticon, so you can see on there you've got like a winky face and a sad face, smiley face, angry face, and love face, a pink love heart face. Um, jelly Bellies, Mixed Emotions, really, really good. Now, if you're wondering why I'm not trying these, um, you may notice slightly slimmed down snake over the last few months. I've been on a bit of a diet, so I'm not stuffing my face full of sweets, but I will have them spread out over the next week or two, a little bit each day. You can have anything you like in moderation. That's how it's worked for me with my diet. Um, I've lost a couple of stones, so I'm, I'm happy. Um, yeah, that's why I'm not stuffing my face with the candies now like we used to do. And also having a bite of one, you've got then loads of open candy, and I don't want that. I'd rather have one bit and then work my way through that packet and go on to the next one like that. So that's the reason I'm not having it. For no other reason, I want to. Trust me, I want to. Oh God, I want to. But I'm not gonna, because I'm doing okay, and I'm on track. So um, yeah, got to get slimmed down for the wedding. Got to do that for myself, haven't I? Can't do it for you, don't do it for anyone else. Um, right, pop uh, the pop time now, pop figure time. Let's have a look. So, I'm really excited. We have a chase pop in this box. If you don't know what a chase pop is, you can see the sticker on there. I'm not gonna zoom in too much. I'll try and put a, like, a picture on screen up while I'm talking. A chase pop um, is a normal pop figure that's slightly different, so you can get, if you look on the back of the box, again, I'll show this on, on camera, um, there is one called Sentient Arm Morty. This, if, if I didn't make it clear, is from Rick and Morty. If you haven't seen Rick and Morty, you won't know what I'm talking about, but it's a cartoon. Um, and this one is the Sentient Arm Morty. Now the normal one, which again, I'll try and show you on screen, the normal um, Sentient Arm Morty has him with his kind of pumped up arm. And this one is kind of, he's got his, his big fat arm across his chest with blood on the end. Um, again, chase pops are very rare, um, and, or relatively rare, and, um, but they slightly differ from the normal one you can get. So it's quite exciting to get a, a chase pop in a box. Um, and for me to get that, I'm very happy. I don't always get the greatest ones when you order. You know, you get rare ones, you get uh, limited edition ones, you get exclusive ones, but sometimes you get normal ones as well. It's the luck of the draw. Um, but yeah, I've got a chase pop there, really, really good. Um, happy with that, indeed. So there you go, guys. That is the pop and candy for this month. If you've enjoyed this video, do consider clicking the thumbs up button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you like about it, what you don't like. If you've, if you've had your own pop and candy box in the past, let me know what you got. Well, let me like, let me know what sweets and candy you enjoy, and what pop figures you enjoy getting. Um, and yeah, I'll leave a link to Pop and Candy's website as well in the description, so you can click on there um, and order your own box. And if I've still got a, a valid discount code, if I have, I'll put that code in the in the uh, description as well. I can't remember if I still have it live or not. But if I have, I'll leave that in the description, and you. Can, uh, you can use that code to save yourself some money on your first uh, on your first order. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon for another unboxing. Cheers, bye.